Yeah, what do you want? Hmm. The one we, we started by conquering when we weak. I don't pretend. Hiding in the they aren't if I it's wrong. I have no there was no Later is there something else you want to know? Your choice Hey there, what can I do? I want to thank you for helping me with Griff you you did everything you could for my brother more than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is. But I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not gonna dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? I don't know anything about Korriban, but I get a bad feeling in this place. If there's such a thing as an evil planet, this is it. Sorry I can't be more help, you know? Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, have it your way. Got something on your mind? What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunry for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time, though. But to become a murderer, uh, mm -hmm. I can't see it. That's not the Sunry I know. He was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. Or so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore me, I guess. Well, I don't expect much these days. Got something on... <laughs> Korriban's a rock. Mind the Sith. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's half senile. He'll forget I said anything. Wait, uh, what was this about anyway? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Well... I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps I can tell you about that. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world. Slaughtering my people while they slept, or while they ran. They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while, but in the end, we were doomed. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. 
We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained, and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. My parents carried me as a baby with them, and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able, and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, it made everyday life unnecessarily hard. My father... My father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he... he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I... I am sorry, I... I cannot talk about this any longer right now. How can I help? Yes, I did end that quite abruptly, didn't I? Perhaps a master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom, but I never should have brought it up here, not with you. Part of my purpose on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light, to help you avoid the temptations of the dark side, but I fear I've failed in that task. I don't think I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. I am no master. You should have remained with the Council. The fact of the matter is, I have never possessed much skill at controlling myself. With the bond that joins us, it seems I have even less. You have maintained the path of the light side, but it has been in spite of my influence, not because of it. It's increasingly obvious I am unable to guide you properly. That's kind of you to say, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. I think... I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply hope that you are not the one who pays the price, ultimately, for the fact that I can't help you enough. That's a kinder response than I deserve, and I can see there is wisdom in your words. You... you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before, and you're nothing like what I expected you to be after... after the Council sent us on this mission together. Well, just different, I suppose. Things are not going as I thought they would. I, I need time to think about all this. We should continue on with our mission for now. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras' vessel. My own mentor.
Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Maybe I can goad the guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough, they might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. It's a risk we have to take, Big Z. I can slice my way free of any security cell. Don't worry, I can pull this off. Yours. You're in charge. But I know I can do this if you give me a chance. I don't think I could use my force powers to convince a whole squadron of troopers to let me go free, but maybe I can use it to get them to take me to a separate cell. They'll probably only leave a single guard to watch over an old man like me. I could use the force to convince the guard to set me free, then could free the rest of you. I've learned a few things in my time, kid. Don't underestimate the Force, for one. But it's your call. If you want to try a different plan, go ahead. You speak the truth. I alone of all the group might be able to remain hidden if the Sith search the ship. I could wait until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue you. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Carruth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Return to your post and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand the casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. 
Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy in which you were trained? Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. <coughs> Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Why? Why are you telling him this? You should be grateful, Bastila. He is sparing you agony beyond comprehension. Words that betray the Jedi Order bring me more pain than any torture ever could. Tell me, how did you find out about the Star Forge? No! How could you betray the Jedi like this? I find your willingness to cooperate pleasing, though it seems your answers are quite upsetting to Bastila. Not to worry. We are almost finished here. The information you have given me has been most useful, but I fear our session is over. Lord Malak will want to continue with this line of questioning himself. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Garth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Yes, I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? I'd like
like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, and Ah, Zah. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Saw mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. I only wish you'd been able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I hope the information you revealed does not bring the entire galaxy under the dominion of the Sith. I've known Admiral Kareth a long time, and I think you're right. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't care what we told him. I think it was just an excuse to torture us before Malak arrived. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force? The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. I shall not be seen.
Kadosoki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Labora na Winky Smack Toma, Kuyami Jusku Chitanai, Uchua Penki, Topa na Oto Vokasa, Chas Kronki to Patslimo, Chi Ita Kanki, Chana Kilikon, Kimba Muli Radwanaji, Kimba no Kunikse Nikaba Dubaka, Patisa Patisa, Kon Muli Slimo Poi Wanga Kun Biskin. Ichuta, yun patisa, kimba ni chalora kun. Smilia, tinkuin koka, patoga yak fuli kokala jiji. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha, agi inko tune chuna muli ra, tangi wama jiko na, tong kipa nonku nek abog. Smilia. Tinkuin koka, patoga yak fuli kokala jiji. Tinkuin koka, kimba ni chalora kun. Tung abashun ni chunchi, kakin cha nawabaka on. Chang waba chingo, shang wi chama ucha, wish uyong kun. Tung it wamachi. Achua peng. Chiwa er aita kan ki ji yo kaku uba baska dona chi chopa muska kakin chan tava yun patisa chiwa er aita kan chino molirani bubo tong king ba no konexa tong hitwama aki inko de or tong hitwama ki aki inko tun Tong pa no kun no nek chiwi aita ka chong chicha ki muli ra kun king king ba no kun nik dorcha jiska dosoki kopa bono nakachu labora na winki smack toma kuyami jusku chita nai uchu apenki topa na oto vokasa yuba pato kanchi ya tuka ulan. Ha! 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 
Freeing us from the cell, you have proven yourself truly worthy of the title of Jedi. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Hmm. <laughs> 
crowd. Didn't work. What? What? Didn't work.
didn't work. Resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death song. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Garth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do.
He's still alive. It's time to finish this. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. Well, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth is not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please. I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. <laughs>
We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here.
Darth Malak. There you go! <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi Strike Team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. Once I served you, Revan. But I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. 
I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be. Didn't work. Yeah! <laughs> 
This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Ah! The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! Incoming fire! Bastila. What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Bah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Kareth told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... Do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? 
Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off than you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Commentary. I am... experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. That does not matter, Master. I am your droid, regardless of your actions or personality. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so... Let's do it before it's too late.